crazy or genius? Cold showers and ice baths. What science says. Cold showers and ice bathing have gained attention for their potential health benefits, and there is scientific research that explores the physiological and psychological effects of exposing the body to cold temperatures. Let's delve into the science behind cold showers and ice bathing. 1. Improved circulation and immune function. Cold exposure is believed to stimulate blood flow and improve circulation. When the body is exposed to cold water, blood vessels constrict, vasoconstriction, to conserve heat and maintain core body temperature. Once out of the cold environment, blood vessels dilate, vasodilation, leading to increased blood flow. This process is thought to support cardiovascular health and immune function. 2. Reduced inflammation. Cold exposure has been shown to reduce inflammation in the body. Cold temperatures may help decrease the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines, molecules involved in the inflammatory response. This anti-inflammatory effect could have potential benefits for recovery from exercise-induced muscle soreness and certain inflammatory conditions. 3. Enhanced mood and mental resilience. Cold exposure has been linked to the release of endorphins, the body's natural, feel-good, hormones. These endorphins can lead to improved mood and a sense of well-being. Cold exposure is also thought to activate the sympathetic nervous system, which can enhance mental resilience and stress tolerance over time. 4. Increased brown fat activation. Brown adipose tissue, brown fat, is a type of fat that generates heat when activated. Cold exposure is known to stimulate the activity of brown fat, which helps burn calories and regulate body temperature. This mechanism has garnered interest as a potential strategy for weight management. 5. Enhanced recovery and athletic performance. Cold water immersion, such as ice baths, is commonly used by athletes to aid in recovery after intense training sessions or competitions. Cold exposure is thought to reduce muscle inflammation and soreness, potentially accelerating recovery and improving overall athletic performance. 6. Stress adaptation and hormetic response. Cold exposure triggers a hormetic response, where a mild stressor leads to beneficial adaptations in the body. This concept is similar to how exercise challenges the body and leads to increased fitness. Regular exposure to cold temperatures is believed to enhance the body's ability to cope with stressors and build resilience. 7. Thermogenesis and Caloric Expenditure Exposure to cold temperatures triggers thermogenesis, the process of generating heat to maintain body temperature. This process requires energy, and the body burns calories to produce heat. Cold showers and ice baths can lead to increased energy expenditure, which could contribute to weight management. Important Guidelines for Cold Showers or Other Forms of Cold Water Immersion It's important to note that while there is scientific support for these potential benefits, individual responses to cold exposure can vary. Some people may find cold exposure invigorating and enjoy the benefits, while others may find it uncomfortable or even contraindicated due to certain health conditions. As with any wellness practice, it's advisable to consult with a medical professional before incorporating cold showers or ice baths into your routine, especially if you have underlying health conditions. Gradual exposure and moderation are key, as extreme cold exposure can have adverse effects, such as hypothermia or shock. The recommended length of time for cold immersion, such as cold showers or ice baths, can vary depending on factors such as individual tolerance, health status, and the specific goals of the cold exposure. While there isn't a one-size-fits-all answer, here are some general guidelines based on scientific research and expert recommendations. Cold showers. Cold showers are often more accessible and manageable for most people compared to full-body ice baths. Many experts suggest starting with shorter durations and gradually increasing the time as your body becomes accustomed to the cold. Initially, you might aim for 2-3 minutes and then gradually extend the duration up to 5-10 minutes over time. Ice Baths Ice baths involve immersing your body in cold water, often with added ice, at temperatures around 50 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Celsius, or lower. Recommendations for ice bath durations typically range from 3-10 to 10 minutes. However, it's crucial to listen to your body and not exceed what is comfortable and safe for you. If you're new to ice baths, start with shorter durations and increase as you adapt. Individual Tolerance Everyone's tolerance to cold varies, so it's important to pay attention to how your body responds. If you experience discomfort, shivering, 
numbness, or any signs of hypothermia, it's recommended to end the cold exposure immediately. Safety should always be a priority. Goals of cold exposure. The recommended duration of cold exposure can also be influenced by your goals. If you're aiming to improve recovery after exercise or reduce muscle soreness, shorter durations, around 10 minutes, may suffice. If you're looking to stimulate brown fat activation, support mood, or enhance stress resilience, longer durations, up to 20 minutes, might be considered. Medical considerations. If you have any underlying health conditions, such as cardiovascular issues or cold sensitivity disorders, it's crucial to consult with a healthcare professional before attempting cold immersion. They can provide personalized guidance on safe durations and precautions. Remember that gradual progression is key to avoiding shock to your system and potential adverse effects. Starting with shorter durations and increasing over time allows your body to adapt to the cold gradually. Additionally, it's recommended to dress warmly and stay active after cold exposure to warm up your body and prevent the risk of hypothermia. Always prioritize your safety and comfort when experimenting with cold exposure. If you're uncertain about the appropriate duration for your specific circumstances, seeking guidance from a medical professional or experienced cold exposure practitioner can provide valuable insights. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you never miss the latest in life-changing content. As always, stay curious, breathe deep and enjoy each day.